It's time to welcome the Wine Ladies with Georgia and Suzanne, an entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi everybody, it's us, The Wine, wine ladies. ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome everyone to The Wine Ladies Show here on ThatChannel.com. We are live, and happy holidays! And of course, to all our friends and fans on Facebook, on Twitter, and thewineladies.com, thank you for sending in all your questions and your comments. And of course, for sending in all of your entries to our holiday contest, of which the winner is going to be announced today. That's right, Georgia. One lucky person today is going to win an array of wine accessories worth over $300. All they had to do was share their favorite holiday memory with mm -hmm. the wine ladies on our Facebook. And one of you, has won that gift. Absolutely. So good luck to everybody. Uh, the winner is going to be announced after the first break as well as on Facebook. Okay, to today's show. Well, we are in the midst of the holiday season and there is still a lot of partying and entertaining that is going on. Now, uh, last week we talked about holiday wines, but this week we thought maybe we would take a little bit of a departure from the grape and talk about holiday cocktails. Yes. That's right. We're going to talk about the traditional hot toddy, yes, the fireside cocktail, and um, there's going to be lots and lots of exciting <laughs> cocktails that our guest is going to share with us this afternoon. Right. Now, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, but I think, Suzanne, we want to start off the show with a toast, yep. as we always do. Yep. So, let's raise our glasses. Cheers, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy Jim will holidays. have to join us later. He doesn't That's have, right. a he doesn't have anything. That. <laughs> That's rather rude. <laughs> Where's that all. other glass? That's this is the not late. Not all, because I know what's coming. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And just what do we have, have in here? Well, we have the late autumn Riesling, actually, okay. from Inniskillen, 2009. This is a lovely off-dry wine. It's got a little bit of a floral note and a little bit of a spicy honey taste to it. And actually, Suzanne, I'm going to save this because this will go great with my Thai dish that I have planned for a little later for dinner tonight. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of um, moving away from the soft stuff and yes. into the hard stuff, right? we are talking about <laughs> cocktails. Yes, yes. So we're going to welcome, finally, our studio guest. We have got Jim Shaw in studio here with us today from the Bartending School of Ontario. He is an instructor with the Career College voted Ontario's number one bartending school six years running six years unbelievable running, absolutely. welcome welcome thank to you, the wine you, ladies thank you no i i am really looking forward to being here with you ladies today i know from uh, previous experience we always have a lot of fun actually yes when we're finished i'll say to myself as i always do i can't remember the last time i had that much fun sober <laughs> Okay. Oh, sure. There's always a qualifier, I'm telling you. Well, you know, before we get started, I know that um, the other a partner from Bartending School of Ontario, uh, Vic uh, Miller, who normally would have been joining us today, but he's stuck there in Wasega. That's at least what he's been telling us, that he's shoveling and shoveling and shoveling. Uh, he said he would be watching today. So, Vic, hello from the wine ladies. Jim, why don't you say hi, too? Yes, indeed, Vic. And although this is not meant in the context it may sound, I know you are stuck up there six feet under. <laughs> now we're talking about snow now. I know that. <laughs> and we don't have any snow here at all in Toronto. Yeah, it's so minimal, so yeah. minimal. Yeah, yeah, just a couple of inches. How Canadian talking about the weather. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's move on to the next Canadian thing. Well, Canadian whiskey or cocktails. Yes. I don't know. I mean, there really is still a lot of partying going on. And I thought maybe we could st we could start off with um, stocking a bar. Like, how sure. do you stock a bar? What What is necessary? And do you have to consider maybe the demographic of your of your party goers are they in their 20s are they baby boomers like in their in their 50s yeah absolutely and and you certainly do have to stock uh, via demographic at the same time making the assumption anyway that if it is a house party environment mm -hmm. you're probably going to know 80 to 90 percent of the guests that are going to be there anyway right you're you're familiar with them and may even know what they drink or can ask ahead of time right mm -hmm. as far as your basic liquors or distillates are concerned you're going to have at least one out of that group of 30, 40 people at your house uh, that will be a gin drinker, although you certainly won't have as many of that as you would rum, vodka, maybe scotch, right? Right. 
You might a lot make of martinis are made with gin. Yeah, absolutely. I don't get that. And well, again, depending on the demographic and, and who your your customers are, mm-hmm. um, uh, you you can adjust your count accordingly. Right. Making an assumption that uh, an, an average person in that type of environment is probably going to have four to five standard drinks, right? Okay. Uh, over the course of that thirty minute, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> over the course of that Uh-oh. three, four, Smart five serve. hour time period, exactly. Yeah. Um, One drink per hour, can, I guess, is how they really say it. You can really kind of figure out how much stock you need to have on hand okay. if you've got say 30 guests uh, chances are 25 of them are going to be drinkers of some sort five may not so designated got drivers there. that's exactly the case mm-hmm. of the 25 that are drinking uh, typically anyway 50 percent of those 25 you know say 12 13 14 of them are going to be just your your standard they they will not move away from their beer shot or wine right and then the other 50 percent are going to be the type of people that would uh, easily be uh, if not already into cocktails uh-huh. uh, of some sort you can accommodate for them and so just using those sort of stats and then saying um four or five maybe six standard drinks per person you right. can really really figure out what it is you're, you're going to be needing right. on your back bar kitchen counter whatever the case may be okay definitely you're gonna need vodka there's no doubt about that uh, you're gonna need rum uh, stick with white if you have anybody there that has a preference for for amber or dark you may introduce a, a 26 or a smaller bottle of that for them or okay. maybe they bring their own right. um gin you know for every say three bottles of vodka you might have you might have one bottle of gin okay um uh, your darker whiskeys your rye your scotches so you should still have um, all of those so you still need oh, quite a few bottles oh, you, to you be do, well prepared for everybody I mean, I, yeah I mean, never want any of my guests to feel out of place right. I as a scotch drinker myself if I'm uh, I just I always bring my own nonetheless just to make sure that it's there for that me they have the yeah. good but, stuff uh, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but but no I would want to make sure that all of my guests uh, feel equally at home comfortable with what they would normally drink uh, right. I want this Christmas or seasonal party to to be very homey and inviting and Warmth what we like to do them. is so, we always yeah, like to have a special holiday cocktail when people come in, mm, you yes. know, as sort of a greeting, either either a glass of sparkling wine or a special mm-hmm. maybe Christmas uh, um, maybe martini, martini or, something. or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, what do you think of that? I, I think it's a brilliant idea and much like the first cocktail I'm going to be making here today, go uh, neutral when you do that okay. with respect to not too sweet, not too tang, uh-huh, right. not Sense. just alcohol. You, you want to have a non-alcohol ingredient in there somewhere, right. but um, uh, the olive. I don't, uh, I don't yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> a little just bit press, of vegetable. Cross the heaven out of it, you know. Um, yeah, uh, if you're giving one standard drink to, yeah. to 30, 40 different people, you want the vast majority of them to really enjoy it. So you've really yes. got to watch that neutrality basis. Right, that's a good it point. It cannot yeah. be too sweet. It mm-hmm. cannot be too bitter. Um, uh, color at this time of the year always works with anybody you know yeah um, and and pretty much right up the uh, alley of that mistletoe the first drink I'm gonna try to mistletoe. oh is that made with vodka anyway, I, I know, know also Jim that the uh, the sales of vodka have just skyrocketed Absolutely. that has got to be excuse me the most popular white spirit out there by far these days and the reason for that is simply vodka although there are flavored vodkas on the market yes Mm -hmm. we know that um, the generic vodka regardless of the brand name is a distillate that is not aged it is not flavored it's not infused and therefore goes it's, with everything. It's yeah, it, it can goes, take on anything it, you want anything it to take on. Anything you add to vodka, vodka is going to receive the flavoring right. of it. Anything you add to it, whether it's another alcohol, a, a liqueur, a, a juice, um, other liquors don't do that right. because yes. in the processing or the making of all other liquors, we do alter coloring. We do alter uh-huh. flavoring from the natural distillate right. um, by how they're aged. Um, uh, you know, a dark rum, that, that caramel, that sugar cane, mm-hmm. that molasses, the vanilla, mm-hmm. the, the aging and the Task, right? So you I have want one very, of those. That yeah. sounded so good. They said the vanilla. Somebody uh, pour me one. Well, yeah, yeah, we're so going to go to a quick break. Why. You're watching the wine ladies here on thatchannel.com, and we've got Jim Shaw, also known as uh, he's talking about cocktails today, but he's also also known as the wine god over at the bartending school of Ontario. But that's another show. That's another show. That's right. We'll be right back, and when we get back, we're going to announce the winner, uh-huh. and I think uh, Jim is going to prepare his first holiday cocktail, Fantastic. the mistletoe. Good. We'll be right back.
<laughs> hey, Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it. Believe it. You'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration, 905-483-8676. Hey, Georgia, hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the, the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen, so what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls' Night Out, we brought Girls' Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. <laughs> well, my guy bought me this. Too funny, the Rosé. <laughs> well, let the party begin. Girls' Night Out Wines, hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. M Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the In Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com. 